Hey guys, Dark Angel Gaming here, and I am here to bring you a March of the Eagles um, Let's Play campaign. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what March of Eagles is, March of the Eagles, the Eagles, my bad. It's a game from Paradox, um, the same guy who made the same guys, I should say, who made Victoria 2, uh, Europa Universals, and Hearts of Iron. So any Hearts of Iron fans uh, will definitely like this game. Um, here at Dark Angel Gaming we have been playing this a fair bit um, and we like it a lot but by no means am I any type of master as you shall see I am still a noob <laughs> a real noob at this game and this will be my um, campaign um, to show you guys um, I'm gonna be playing I've decided I'm gonna be playing as Denmark um, I've got the difficulty on normal all the way through um, so we're just gonna see how it goes. Like I said guys, I'm an absolute noob at this game and I'm no expert. But I hope you enjoy the campaign and let's get started. I have done a few multiplayer games with some friends though, so I do know the game pretty well. Um, for any of you guys who don't understand, let me just give you a quick rundown. Um, it's set in the Napoleonic era, obviously. Uh, during the Napoleonic Wars, and you can play as any country in Europe. It's obviously got Great Britain and all the other, <coughs> excuse me, all the other European countries. Um, and you build armies like here, and you can customize your flanks. So, as you can see, on my left flank, I've got a guard brigade and some infantry, and on my center, I've got three groups of infantry, and then on my right flank. I have Dragoons and another Infantry Brigade. In Reserve, I've got an Artillery Brigade and Supply. So obviously, um, it's the, the aim of the game is to gain military power and naval power, as much as your country needs. Uh, there's two coalitions in the game, one French coalition, which will be the French coalition against the British, and the British coalition, which will be obviously against the French. Um, choosing which coalition to join is going to be difficult for me because obviously me being right next to Sweden um, if Sweden joined the British and I joined the French Sweden are just going to invade me and the French will come over here come up through here and invade me but if I join the French the British could sail over and also invade me so it's tricky it's tricky to see who I'm going to join as obviously um there are diplomatic things you can do. You can give leaders to your armies. Obviously, I have a spare leader here. Um, and you can merge armies, and they can go up into the 100,000 men, things like that. You can also build fleets. Uh, fleets are very important. The British fleet is un insanely amazing, obviously, during the Napoleonic era. And the French military is also insanely amazing. So Denmark, by the looks of it, starts off with three armies, 20,000 men there, 17,000 men there, and another 17,000 men here. So to build men, you have manpower, and your manpower increases every month depending on how many uh, provinces or regions you own. And you recruit brigades by clicking on the province. Well, not all provinces you can recruit brigades on, but on most you can, so... So you just click the click the province and recruit brigades, and then you can uh, you've got your list of all your military resources. Same goes for um, any ships that have any province that have a port. You can r build ships there usually, but for some reason those ones aren't working, so they must not have like legit ports or whatever. Uh, here I can build ships, for example, so transport ships and so on. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is probably let's see if we got any ideas ideas are very important uh, the main superpower countries have their own special set of ideas which will come down here but uh, obviously being Denmark I don't have those I can't get any ideas right now so what I think I'm gonna do is just reorganize this army so I'm gonna move everything to the right for a second um, I'll explain a lot more about combat and the flanks and all this sort of stuff as the as the game goes on. 
for any of you guys who who actually don't know and you're watching this for the first time um, obviously it would be a lot more it would be easier for me to explain combat when I'm actually in combat rather than um, trying to explain it when I'm uh, not in combat alright so I want infantry coming up first um, I'd like to have another set of infantry behind them to be honest so let's go with that so we'll do infantry and then we got a militia brigade there I'll keep them in reserve so I'm gonna recruit two infantry brigades so light infantry so we want two infantry brigades there um, right, let's take a look at this army for now. Uh, guard, infantry, infantry, and then cavalry with artillery, and then marines. Oh, man, marines suck. So I'll put those marines in reserve. So we're going to need another, another two infantry brigade and then two cavalry for that. No, I don't want to do that for that regiment. So I'm going to go with so. Let's grab two infantry and two cav. Yeah, I'm running out of uh, manpower right now, so I don't want to overdo it. And for this army here, infantry, infantry, definitely need some cav. Um, so we'll just go with two cavalry brigades, I think. Should we go with Dragoons? Let's go with two Dragoons. Okay, let's start the timer. And put it up to three. And I'll quickly, while that's going on, I'm going to check my uh, my diplomatic status. I view Sweden, Prussia, and Saxony as natural rivals. Right, Britain has started the coalition against France. Cool, cool. So I'm going to increase my relation with Sweden because It'd probably be a really bad idea if I uh, went to war with them um, really early on in the game because that would absolutely suck. Uh, the rest of my country has like zero armies. <laughs> Flatland, lol. Um, so it, all my all my armies are towards the south. Um, the provinces with the forts, for any of you guys who don't know, you can garrison troops in there. If you just uh, build a, click the build um, brigade option, and then you just build a garrison brigade, so a line garrison um, brigade, and there'll also be a, um, there we go, you need to build those, uh, the depot garrison brigade, and they'll go straight into your fort. So, if then you are invaded, um, you will have, it will be a lot more difficult for the enemy to take that province. The French and British fleets are already engaging each other. I have one fleet that's not too bad to be honest. Where'd it go? Oh there it is. So okay so it's alright. I think I'm... A I thought pressure was starting shit then. <coughs> um, it's pretty much made out of crappy ships but you know Second rate ship of the lines aren't too bad. Well, there's there's some first rates there, which is pretty good, and it's got twelve ships. So I mean, oh, so there's two fleets. Oh, there's a transport ship there. That's why. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to take this transport and I'll just move it over uh, here because I don't want that getting in in battle or anything. And there's a Swedish army of 8,000 men there. I'm not worried about a Swedish army of 8,000 men though. Um, also, another cool thing you can do with this game, you can put leaders on each of your flanks, which will increase increase your um, increase your flanks fighting. Because when you go into combat, what happen is is that your two armies will face off, and there'll be a bombardment phase. So what happen is your artillery will begin to engage each other and then your flanks will move forward so what it so for example like 
as my flanks move forward, f what will advance first is my three infantry, and then uh, behind them will come infantry, cavalry, and then nothing because I haven't got anything else on my right flank. Okay, let's take a look at this message from France. Um, they've invited me to the coalition. Um, Uh, I'm going to decline this for now because I don't want to get involved right now with that so because look, as you can see there's like a British army of 18,000 men there oh, there and a French army of 28,000 men that's engaging them and the British army has just been fucking annihilated so but they've just landed another British army of 32,000 men see and I don't want to deal with I don't want to deal with that shit I mean I have got an army here of 23,000 but like, I don't I don't want to go dealing with like a, a fucking stupidly ridiculous British army which is gonna come in and beat the shit out of me like so scrap that oh no I'm gonna get some more artillery so we're gonna get some artillery batteries my manpower is pretty low, so I'm just gonna not gonna do anything else right now. Yeah, I don't want to join the French coalition just yet. I've only just started the game, and like I said, I don't want to just like fucking join and then just get invaded by the British like straight away. And especially if Sweden joined the British coalition, like Sweden will just be all up in my country. So I only have an army of seventeen thousand there. And I know Sweden have like similar numbers in their military strength as I do. So it would like completely wipe me out just fighting Sweden straight away, so Alright, so we're gonna move our infantry there like that. What the hell? When for some scatty ass militia like I don't tend to use militia very much, to be honest, because for obvious reasons they suck. Um but I do use them as like cannon fodder occasionally because that's what that's pretty much what they're good for but otherwise I don't, they, you know, if you fight like a French army with like an army mostly made up of militia you're just gonna lose straight away so well it looks like the British are making or the French are making progress in uh, Oldenburg and they're taking it and I think the British are trying to help them but that doesn't look like that worked out very well I'm just going to let this play out for a bit because also Russia tends to join the British coalition quite early on um, and like I don't want Russia coming through Sweden and just like cause as you can see if you see the size of Russia like fuck, fuck starting a fucking war with Russia to be honest with you dude um, also for for the guys who are new I tend to I tend to play the game on political map mode because it's a lot easier to diverge through the countries but there are a ton of different map modes like when I go into a fight I go into the terrain map mode because terrain counts for a lot as you can see like um, this part of terrain is mostly plains and coastal but say you've got an army and you have to fight uphill or in woodland you will be at like a disadvantage compared to the defending army and it, it can like so terrain can count for a lot there are a lot of di like I said there are a lot of other uh, different map modes supply map mode which is very important um, what map mode is that one? Oh, fort so they'll tell you where all the forts are located the manpower you know there's a lot of different uh, map modes and it's I just tend to play on the political one quite a lot because I'm a ha I, I am a hearts of iron player and that's how I played with hearts of iron so any of you guys who played a lot of Hearts of Iron 3 um, will get that straight away. Like I said, if I'm making a lot of mistakes and you guys are watching um, through the campaign, you're like, oh man, this guy's fucking shit. He didn't know what he's doing. Then uh, do excuse me. Like I said, guys, I am fairly new to the game. So we're going to move. Uh, the first couple of parts are going to be a bit slow, so I do apologize for that, guys. The first, uh, the first couple of games are going to be the first part or two, maybe a bit slow, but as it picks up, you'll see me engaging in war a lot more. 
but the first the first part or two will be just me getting ready and building my armies and stuff so there's another invite from France so I'm just going to decline it again because I'm just going to wait I don't want to like I've already said like 8 million times I don't want to join just yet I want to wait just a little bit before I have an advantage I, I at least want an advantage over Sweden before I uh, start you know, starting shit. Um. Okay, looks good. Man, Denmark really has like no manpower. Oh well, we soldier on. Um Okay, those cavalry done. Let's go wait for the one more cavalry and then I need my two I need two artillery batteries there. So I no artillery at all, so I'm just going to, have to wait for a bit until my manpower comes up. This is a very good game, guys, and it is also very, very addictive. Um, you'll find yourself just wasting hours on this game. Um, what, like I said, once it starts getting really exciting and you start uh, getting into the really serious, the serious battles, and you know you're taking countries and you're just owning fools. Yeah, that's when it gets good. You know, it starts off pretty slow. I um, mean, unless you're playing as obviously one of the one of the more dominant countries, say France or Britain. But mostly, it starts off with you just getting your armies ready, and because the one thing you can't do on this game is rush. Because if you do, you'll find yourself losing your country pretty quickly. I wish I could see what else everybody else is up to, like Austria and shit. But it's like the Ottomans and. Persia and stuff, <clears throat> but I see that France, oh no wait, Persia took this, not Persia, shit, sorry, my bad, uh, Prussia took it, oh man, I thought it was France, damn, so Prussia took Oldenburg then, god dang, yeah, Prussia have some pretty fierce armies and they're not to be underestimated, I think they're already warring with France, I'm not 100% sure though, Take a quick look. No, France aren't uh Prussia aren't at war with anyone, so that's weird. Alright, let's increase relation with Sweden again. Um We're not at war with anyone, that's good, no one's declared war on us yet, so sweet. Alright, so one of Britain's own Britain's only ally was just wiped out by France, so damn. Oh well. Shit happens. As the saying goes. I'd like some more cavalry to be honest though, but that's looking okay for now. So we got infantry, 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 and then another th three infantry brigades, then three brigades of dragoons, and my three RT brigades, so, and that's twenty six thousand men. This army over here, I think, is still building. I'm waiting on another, another cavalry brigade, and then I've got some artillery that I need building there as well. <coughs> so let's get some artillery batteries. We want two of them. Artillery is like super important, like the in the artillery phase at the start of um, battle you can really do damage to an enemy's army if you if you have enough artillery so so I'm pretty much going for the same lineup as my other armies with the two infantry uh, the cavalry and then artillery this, also, this army here needs, also needs 
two artillery brigades. As you can see, I've got another coalition invite from France. But I may join them. Like, when you guys come back for part two, I think we'll be in the French coalition. But, like, I know as soon as I join it, I'll be at war. So I just want to... I just want to make sure I'm prepared for that outcome. Like, with three armies of 25,000 men, that is, like, around 75 to 80,000, because this army's 26k, um, 24k, by the time it's done, it'll be about 26k, so... I just want to make sure that I'm fully ready uh, for the out for that outcome, like... Like, uh, France is probably someone I want to be in a coalition with, because, as you can see up here, they do have the dominant military power but that's not gonna stop Britain from just sailing their asses over and fucking hitting my coast so and I don't want to fight a British army of like 50,000 men and I'm also worried that S I, I like I'm more waiting for s to see what Sweden does if Sweden joined the British coalition then I may uh, I may just like go nuts and just like attack Sweden if uh, like by joining the French one, but for now I'm increasing relation with them because I don't want them to just suddenly declare war on me while I'm just getting my armies ready. As soon as my armies are ready, I'm gonna go in and whoop their ass. But until my armies are ready, I'd rather just uh, wait a little bit. If I keep declining these offers though, I, I'm, they're going to stop offering so I've got to be careful about that. I want France to invite Sweden though. If 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 Sweden, if like the ideal situation would be if Sweden join the French coalition and then I join and then we can both um, try to kick Prussia's ass and fucking and Britain so that would be the ideal situation but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we got another brigade constructed here. Uh, okay, so we got in reserve a uh, militia brigade, two cav, um, which is which is guard cav right there. So um, guard units are the most powerful units in the game, as you can see here. Like there's guard guard brigades; they're the most powerful infantry and cavalry you can get. Uh, some countries also have guard artillery, I'm pretty sure, which I've seen before somewhere. I'm like, unless I'm going crazy, but I don't think I am. Um, yeah, there, go, guard coastal, guard, oh, that's guard cavalry, sorry. But I, I swear I saw some guard arty before, but I may be just noobing it out, like, I don't know. Okay, um... Oh yeah, it was my North Brigade that needed artillery, wasn't it? Damn, I completely forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to need some artillery here. Let me just double check though, because I don't want to start building random shit. Alright, cool. Alright, so we're going to need... Well, we can only get one, damn. I tend to build the artillery batteries over the horse artillery. I don't know, like... um the normal batteries are a bit stronger than the uh, horse artillery batteries but I'm sure the horse artillery has its advantages as well but I do I do try to mix it up when I can as well so okay so we got another um, so we just need our one last artillery there Okay, so we can get our idea now, so we're going to get Master Sound of Guns. That'll make our, like, um, ideas different. As you can see, there are lots of different ideas you can do. I just did Master Sound of Guns, which gives, which makes my infantry a lot better. Um, there's also fire, fire rate, fire ideas, which uh, makes your infantry also a lot better. Artillery, um, cavalry, and then commander. Um, and then you've got things like production, supply, and economic. Um, it costs 200 idea points for an idea, and depending on your country, will depend on how fast that goes up. Okay. Let 
Right. I'm trying to figure, think of. I'm going to keep this army here on the board with Sweden because if I join the French coalition and then Sweden starts shit, um, they'll just be able to walk straight in. So. And also up here, they'll just like walk their ass in. So I better be careful about that. So we need. I'm just got the one artillery battery building here, haven't I? Uh, so let's get another one. Okay. So I'm thinking. I'm just like really like overly shitting myself that if I join this coalition right now, that I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Well, Sweden aren't in a coalition with anyone right now, so. Great Britain. Who has Great Britain got in their coalition? Sicily, Portugal. Oh, so, like, kind of shit people right now. Oh, I know, but they're just gonna come. They're gonna come straight at me. I know they are. God dang it! And they're in the Netherlands, as you can see. The um, when a province has lines for it, that means it's under attack. I don't know whether to hold off. What year is it? It's 1805, and it's only August. So I pretty much only just started the game. Um, it's only the eighth month. Almost going to go into September now. So I'm just going to wait a little bit more. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, "Oh shit, you you know you fucking pussying out and shit." But like, you'd be surprised if you guys have played this. Any of you guys watching who have played this before? will understand why I'm being so hesitant to just go to war straight away because it's not like a total war game where you can just build men you know it takes a long time to recruit brigades because it's not individual it's not hundreds of men you're building it's thousands you know what I mean and this army I've, for example I've got 12,000 infantry so you know throwing an army away like that it would be silly like obviously I'm not stupid enough to go to like war with France or anything, but and I don't think I'll join the British coalition. I'll probably end up joining the French one, but I just want to see Spain's uh, Spain Sweden's decision before I uh, go starting shit, pretty much. All right, so we got our army here, looking good. So let's recruit some light infantry. I think would be a good idea. I can't even afford light infantry. God dang, I'm poor. <clears throat> uh, could do. I don't need it right now though, so I should be okay. Alright, let's save up our money a bit then and let's work on our fleet. I think would probably be a. Uh, what the hell? Oh, that's my garrison, sorry. I was just wondering what the hell they were doing there then. Alright, let's get the first rate ship of the line. So want a nice big fleet to at least be able to hold off the British by a little bit. So we get twelve ships. Which isn't bad. That isn't bad. Okay. Doesn't look like Sweden are doing anything. They moved an army. Oh, they moved an army of fifty-eight thousand. You see what I'm talking about? If it, like, say they were in the British coalition, I would have just gone French. That fucking fifty-eight thousand man army would just be fucking straight there. I would have got my ass kicked. Like, oh shit. Oh uh, crap. All right, so let me pause this. Okay, Sweden has declared war on us. Which is gay. Um, oh, my artillery battery's not ready yet. Let's cancel that. Um, this would probably be an amazing time to ask to join the French coalition now, to be honest. Ah, god dang it. So Sweden's declared war on us for just no apparent reason, out of nowhere. So this is gonna suck. That fifty-eight thousand-man army, I reckon though, 
is their entire army. So if I can hold them... Oh, probably the best thing for me to do is to bring up my main. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? They're going to be fucking dicks, and I'm going to go straight into Sweden myself and start shit. If they want to start shit, then we'll start shit, you know what I'm saying? Alright, you want to start shit Sweden? Let's start some shit. Alright, here comes that 58,000 man army right now, and there's another 15,000 behind them. Alright, here we go. So we've engaged in battle. I'm not doing too bad. As you can see, my flank... My flanks are engaging. Well, obviously I lost. I was kind of expecting that to happen. I lost a hell of a lot of men there as well. Alright, so let's start building another army if possible here. I'm going to need both my armies to take out that uh, They, I think they're moving their army down. I'm pretty sure, so... Um... So let's move... Let's move these guys up. I'm gonna just move both these armies like upward. Um and try to take out cool. Try to take out that Swedish army there, thirty nine thousand. So I'll get this army and move them uh, keep this army actually we'll move them here just for like support I don't know if an army of 27,000 will be able to take out an army of 39 but I do have this army just in case so we'll see how it goes I think this is their main army, so if I can take if I can fucking take it out, then I can take Sweden. If I can that's if I can take it out, we'll see how it goes. Right, let's join the French coalition. So we're now in the coalition and we have Well oh, Britain hasn't declared war on us though. Cool. So hopefully the French will get their ass over here and attack Sweden. Okay, let's see how this goes. Hopefully well, because they're probably going to take the fort soon. Man, this army was bad, pretty bad. Um, sorry, I can't help you right now, I'm in my own war. Alright, let's see how this goes. So I'm just gonna march. Actually, I'm just gonna march both my armies in there and just go nuts. All right, my first army's engaged. 
My my army's dropping though. Damn, that's a really well done Swedish army. Shit, I got defeated. Uh, my second army. Man, the Sweden the Swedish army's like fucking battering me, dude. God damn. All my armies just were just epically defeated, dude. What the hell? Wow, that was really bad. God damn. That was really bad. Holy shit. Damn, Sweden's owning my ass, dude. I think it would probably be a good idea to retreat south before Sweden kill me. I could really use France's help though, to be honest. I'm just gonna completely retreat south. I wanna come back here. Yeah, Sweden have like owned me like really bad. Which I wasn't expecting. I, I like I thought my military strength would be able to hold out a bit better than that but turns out I was mistaken alright so let's just run these guys away alright so we're gonna retreat south and uh rebuild our battered army and hopefully be able to um oh, god damn it I might claim vi I might be able to claim victory over this Swedish army though what the hell dude I was fucking owning oh what the hell man are you being serious they've like trapped me no, don't retreat that way. What are you doing? Oh, God damn it. Well, for some reason, my guys are running the completely wrong way that I want them to. But never mind. We soldier on. Okay, guys. I'm going to end this part here and in part two we shall be back where hopefully things will be looking a whole lot better than they are right now. So look out for more videos from Dark Angel Gaming as always guys and subscribe if you want to of course and um, I shall see you guys next time.